are coming on the air on this Friday night. As you can see, it's a frenetic one on top of that with more fallout from the historic day at the Supreme Court. Justice is deciding on issues ranging from LGBTQ rights to student loan debt repayments. We're going to unpack those decisions momentarily. Thanks for staying up. I'm Joshua Short here at home, though. Indiana Supreme Court made a splash too, announcing it will uphold a law banning most abortions. This comes almost a year after the law was initially passed and a judge temporarily blocked it. Tonight, Monica Murphy has been getting local reaction from both sides and joins us in the newsroom with that brand new reporting tonight. Hey, Monica. Hey, you know, some groups say it's a victory for human rights in Indiana. Other groups say they will continue working hard to restore the right to choose. On Friday, the Indiana Supreme Court ruled the state's abortion ban is constitutional. We've been expecting this decision. The Indiana Constitution is pretty clear that all Hoosiers, both born and unborn, have the right to life. The decision overturns a county judge's ruling that the ban violated privacy protections. Three of the justices say while the state constitution provides some protection of abortion rights, they stand by Congress's ability to make laws about abortion access. The law at the center of this decision would ban most abortions, with exceptions for cases involving rape, incest, or needing to save the mother's life. Groups on both sides of the debate are reacting to the decision. Pro-choice South Bend says, quote, pregnant Hoosiers will now have to leave the state or wait until they are close to death to receive essential medical care closer to home. Right to Life Michiana is celebrating Friday's decision, saying in part, quote, this is a major win for unborn babies who must rely on the compassion of Hoosiers to protect them. They also claim the decision will save up to 8,000 lives of unborn babies each year. Planned Parenthood says that they are, quote, devastated by the Indiana a Supreme Court's ruling, saying it will deprive more than 1.5 million people in Indiana with life-saving essential health care. And those with Voices for Life say this. If um, you're a woman facing an unplanned pregnancy, I know this news can be scary. There's a lot of fear-mongering, but the pro-life movement in Indiana has been prepping for years for this day, and we're ready to support you in absolutely any way that we can. Indiana was the first state to enact a new law following the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. And right now it is unclear when the abortion law will actually go into effect. You can read more about the abortion ban on our website at WNDU.com. Josh. Monica Murphy on it for us tonight. As always, Monica, thank you. We appreciate it. Meanwhile, tonight, millions of students.